This is Swapil Bharatiya and welcome to a special edition of TFR Newsroom for KubeCon and CloudNativeCon. CNCF has announced the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate certification. And today we have with us once again, Katie Gamanji, ecosystem advocate at CNCF to talk more about this certification. Katie, first of all, it's great to have you on the show again. Thank you for having me again. I'm uh, very excited to announce a new program for the Cloud Native community. So let's get started with the basics. Tell me a bit about what is this Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate program certification all about? So the KCNA exam actually resulted from the feedback uh, from the community um, to have this more inclusive and beginner-friendly examination. Previously, if um, listeners are maybe familiar with the uh, Kubernetes certification, currently we have three levels of certification. There's going to be CKD, CKA, and CKA, CKS. So application developer, uh, administrator, and security specialist. And all of these exams are aimed at very high skilled professionals that have hands-on experience in production pretty much daily. Because the nature of the exam is you are pretty much faced with um, a terminal and you have to solve all of the challenges as part of the exam. Now, while this is a very good examination and a very good um, uh, indicator of someone's skills, it's not necessarily um, friendlier for beginners or people who just introduced well, the, the new to cloud native um, and they don't yet have that depends on experience in production. So the KCNA exam is a multiple choice uh, exam uh, examination. Uh, and it's aimed at um, this kind of new beginners and novice within this uh, ecosystem. So it's more or less like like Kubernetes onboarding kind of certification. People who are fresh, they're still... E Pretty much. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I like to see this as kind of uh, on-ramp or onboarding or pretty much the you know, this is going to be the gate for you to like, once you take this examination, it's going to be easier for you to show your interest in cloud native. Um, but at the same time, you actually going to have the first step to demonstrate your, your skills as well. So you actually have an understanding and you can actually showcase some proof of that as well. Because again, maybe to mention here, the cloud native landscape is, it's quite wide. We have over 100 tools within at the CNCF graduation incubation and sandbox. So there's a lot, plenty of projects, plenty of areas that cloud native encompasses. And we try to maybe uh, identify these areas where as long as you have the fundamental knowledge, it's going to be easier for you to explore our tools within the ecosystem. So we're trying to, again, certify this um, fundamental knowledge of uh, of the individuals within the community. Can you also talk a bit about some of the components or you know curriculum of this uh, certification? Based on the name of the exam, which is Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associates. So major part of the exam is gonna be focused on the Kubernetes fundamentals. So um, all of the um, individuals that will take the certification should be ready to understand the Kubernetes fundamentals. And we include the resources, we include the architecture, the APIs, how containers, how scheduler works and so forth. So pretty much how the main components um, are put together to provide this orchestration platform. Um, thereafter, we're going to look into the fundamentals of the orchestration as well. So how the individuals are um, understanding the, the way, we, for example, how the controller managers or, uh, for example, how we do the packaging of an application using, using Docker or other cloud native tools as well. Um, thereafter, we're going to cover uh, the cloud native architecture, and this is going to be more focused on auto scaling. Um, and this does mean horizontal auto scaling, vertical auto scaling, cluster auto scaling. So all everything which is in regards to how we um, do this cloud native architecture for scale. Uh, we're going to cover some serverless as well. We're going to cover governance, personas, open standards. So again, quite extensive. So we really need to really want to kind of understand if an uh, in individual has an understanding of how this cloud native fundamentals and principles are built um, and. Uh, and provided through different tools within the ecosystem. And uh, towards the end, we're gonna cover the observability and application delivery. So um, we really will dig into the understanding of telemetry data. Um, we're gonna have some questions about Prometheus, cost management, and when it comes to application delivery, we'll um, talk about tools such as Helm, GitOps, uh, including Argo, CD, and Flux. So quite extensive, but at the same time, we're really digging into that core understanding of the principles and fundamentals of the ecosystem of the cloud native ecosystem. As you said, you know, it's for very, very beginners who are getting started. 
what does this certification mean for them or for companies like other certification? When you look at, as you mentioned, other threes, when you have passed those, you, we do know that, hey, you are able to handle these kind of things in production. So it does, you know, you wear a badge there. Hey, I have done this. So companies also look at that. So, but with this certification, what is the actual real value that is either for the people who are taking it and for the companies? So I'm going to mention the um, um, open source job report from this year, which pretty much me mentions that hiring managers, they still have difficulties in identifying the cloud native technologies and practitioners. Um, and based on the numbers, um, I think 92% of them reported this difficulty. So how do I identify those practitioners? How do I identify the right people to, to do our cloud migration or to improve our infrastructure and so forth? Um, and as well, based on that report, 72% of the employees um, are more likely to employ um, individuals that have a certification. So something, again, which is uh, proving their skills. So coming from the, the market demand, this was, again, a gap we wanted to fill. And KCNA, again, is a great, um, um, a great example for us to fill that gap and actually provide that uh, leverage for you know novice within uh, within the cloud native community. Um, anyone who would take this one, they take this exam again because it's it's a multiple choice. It's not hands on experience. So the multiple choice still is uh, has this kind of entry level character. So that means that you don't necessarily need to be um, an engineer. For example, if you are a program manager or if you're someone from the marketing department, but you've been um, I don't know, chatting with the engineers within your organization and want to try and kind of do cloud native, this is going to be the right certification for you as well. And because you, you um, well, at the end of the uh, at the end of the day, we're going to have the badge, but that badge is valued by the, the employees. As, as we've seen in reports and the data, there is something, um, uh, there is a gap in the market. Employees want to identify those uh, highly skilled um, engineers and, and practitioners. And this is going to be pretty much, uh, Connecting the, the dots pretty much is going to be the bridge between the employers and the novice um, adopters or practitioners. Let's talk about your role in creation of this uh, program. I have been one of the co-leads for the case in exam. So currently we had uh, four leads, um, including Chris Anishik, which is the CTO of CNCF, uh, Jeff Sika and Diva Mohan, uh, both of them community members as well. So we were the leads um, in, the, in creation of the case in exam. Uh, the purpose of a lead is pretty much make sure that we have this holistic vision of all of the areas and all of the questions that are going to be part of the exam. Because um, as part of the process, we had um, around 30 SMEs that were invited to contribute, to write the questions and pretty much provide their expertise um, for, for the exam. And as leads, we just needed to make sure that there is no overlap, that we have this vendor neutrality, which is at the core of the cloud native uh, uh, kind of nature and principles, um, and we pretty much had to make sure that it really covers uh, not just the easy uh, kind of uh, questions, but really goes into some of the core um, characteristic of the cloud native. Again, vendor neutrality, mutability, we're going to talk about open standards, the Kubernetes architecture, all of the resources as well. So it's not something which is, um, I wouldn't say it wouldn't uh, present a challenge. That's the thing, like, it's an entry-level examination, but you still need to be quite prepared to take the exam because it covers uh, quite a few areas. So we have the Kubernetes architecture, we have the container, the cloud native architecture overall, like what, what are the fundamentals there? We're going to cover networking, security, observability, application delivery, including tools like uh, GitOps. So it's, yes, it's entry-level, but it covers a wide range of applications as well. So still, like there is a, a level of preparation that's required for this, um, for this exam. So what you're telling is that even if it is entry level, it still has the characteristics of the CNCF cloud native Kubernetes world. <laughs> <It is. laughs> yes, I think I think that's necessary for to get individuals ready for uh, CKD, for example, which is going to be the next level. Like um, we're trying to keep the quality and the, you know like the the quality bar. Um, again, it's uh, it's not going to be something very kind of shady questions of like uh, you know very specific things that you can find in like hidden in the documentation or something like that. No, we're still going to focus on the, the high levels, but um, we really will, will dig into your core understanding. So for example, within an application, we always have this pod, 
pod is the atomic element within a cluster, but within a pod we have containers and we have different types of containers, things like that. Like we really have to have the understanding of the hierarchy of different resources and how these resources interact with, with each other. Um, it's not just gonna be based on the definition. It, you actually need to understand how they connect and communicate between themselves to have this full application delivery within a cluster. Excellent. Now, most of the CNCF or Linux Foundation courses or certifications or exams are global. Uh, with this one, is it available everywhere? Anybody can take it or is it for a specific region? So currently the KCNA exam is developed fully in English. So anyone who is able to understand English or you know, understand technology using the English language, they will be able to take the exam. So we don't have any uh, restrictions in terms of the region. Um, now to actually uh, maybe remove the language barrier, we are thinking to translate the exam in, uh, in, different, uh, in different languages and make it available in different regions around the globe. Um, currently we are thinking to have translation in Chinese and in Japanese and hopefully more in the future. Excellent, Katie. Thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about uh, this new uh, certification program. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. And I'm excited about our next conversation. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. And I hope everyone is going to have an extraordinary KubeCon.